I don't know, we added a second light and this thing's frying my brain. So, I mean, how, how many lights are you going to put on me at some point? You're going to do you're going to do makeup, too. A lot of people don't like checking their bags when they travel and they go to the airport. For me, this is great. I don't want to hang on to stuff in general, let alone carry a suitcase around. So I give it to someone in the front, you know, I'll send it somewhere. I guess they, they maybe it goes on its own plane or they drive it there. I'm not really sure how they get it to where you're going. But then you get off and you got that you get to wait for the carousel ride too. You know, everyone's in a rush. They want to get their thing and get off. I, I like waiting for the bag. I don't want to be fighting with people and, and stuffing bags and lifting suitcases. And why why would you want to do that? Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. Today we're going to take a look at a very easy remediation script that we can run in Intune to help solve your Windows activation issues if you're having any. If not, I guess then you're fine. Well, because they don't even want your bag on the plane. It's always full. They tell you there's no room in the overhead thing, and you're going to have to fist fight strangers to even fit it. That, that, we're not. I'm not doing that. Carousel is fine. Get Rubik's. Solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so one thing that typically plagues a lot of, you know, admins when, when setting up machines is this very annoying down here this activate windows settings um and you can see it here uh that means we're not activated we can go to take a look in settings and you know i know this was a recent problem and yeah here windows isn't activated and and we're doing things i'll, I'll, I'll say we're doing things the right way in intune the way i have it is it should be everything should be automatically uh, I don't care what's new in Chrome. That's the, that's actually a thing I don't care about. So the user has the Windows license assigned to them. See uh, Windows 10, 11 Enterprise E3, and that's that's active. So you know we know this. If the license is assigned to the user, when they log in uh, through autopilot, they're gonna go ahead and get the activation. That's part of how autopilot works, right? But for whatever reason, on certain machines that might not happen. And uh, I know it's been a Windows issue and they're working on it. I haven't gotten too in the weeds. Uh, Rudy Humes has a lot of great write-ups on it. But one thing I found for those of us who need a fix is we can use a PowerShell remediation in Intune for this. So let's kind of break this down. I'm gonna do this on this machine here. Let me try to open a, a PowerShell script um, as an administrator here. And I tested this, it runs the same as system. So don't worry about PS exec with this. It's, uh, I already tested that. So let's open up PowerShell as admin. I'm actually gonna open up ICE so we can have a little breathing room. So we have to figure out in PowerShell how we're gonna be able to determine that this activate Windows gray thing is giving us uh, Ajita. Ajita is a term I think I got from my grandmother. Perhaps it's Yiddish, it means stress, aggravation. And in IT, we have a lot of Ajita. Okay, so in order to get the license status, we can run this command down here. And you know, we can we can get rid of this. We don't need that on the side. We can do get sim instance class name software licensing. This should pop up. Let's see. Come on, IntelliSense. Licensing product. That's the class we're looking for. Uh, where the object uh, object is partial product key. And we're gonna select the object. And the object is license, license status. So if we run that, we're gonna see what our output is. Okay, so you can see our license status is a five. Is five good or bad? So I'll put it this way, anything other than a one is not activated. And I will show you that on this machine. So this is another machine where I already ran this remediation. We're gonna do the same thing. PowerShell ICE as administrator, a little copy paste magic. And we'll run that on a machine where we know Windows is activated. And of course, that'll come back with a different status. This comes back with one. So all we re really have to know is one is good, five or not one is bad. So I'm gonna go back to my computer, my workstation, and we are gonna create a remediation. New folder. We're gonna call it activation remediation. I like that, it sounds like an exercise plan. And let's open this folder in code. Okay, so let's start with the detection script. We have to get the license activation status. So we're gonna use the same thing we did before, but we're gonna make two changes. First is we're gonna put it in a variable. So we're gonna say license status equals, 
and we're going to run the same thing here. Get sim instance. Class name, software licensing product, where object, uh, partial product key, and then we are going to select object, but this time we're going to expand the property because we don't need the uh, we don't need the license status dots. We, we just need the value of one. So in order to do that with PowerShell, we expand the property of what we want the value of. So that'll be license status. OK, and that's going to return the number. And then basically we'll check uh, check license status. So if license status is not equal to one, Actually, let's do it this way. If the license status is equal to one, then we're going to write output activated. And we can exit zero. Else, let's just keep that clean. Else, we're going to write output not activated and exit one to trigger the remediation. All right, so we'll save that. That's our script, that's no big deal. Now, as far as the remediation goes, a few things here. The first thing we have to do is we're gonna need an MAK, right? It's a multiple activation key, and that'll allow us to activate Windows on the device. You can get your MAK through your licensing server or uh, wherever you get the MAK from. There's a few places to get that, but you're going to need an MAK for this. So we're going to define the MAK key. I wonder if that's like ATM, automatic teller machine, multiple activation key key. I don't know. So we'll make the variable for MAK key, and you'll paste your key into there. Um, you can do that yourself. I'm going to put mine in here a b c d one two three four e f g h five six seven eight i j k l you didn't think i was going to put a real mak in there did you okay so once you define your mac key now we're going to set it so you set the mac key yep yeah. and we can give it some logging here installing mak key And we're using the SL manager VBS command, which is a, it's an oldie, but a goodie. IPK. And then we activate windows with it. Activating windows. SL Manager, VBS, ATO is how you activate it. Okay, and that's how you activate. And then down here, we'll just do write, uh, we'll just say write output, Windows activation complete. But I'm thinking we put that in a try catch because if it doesn't, we're gonna have an issue. So try. Yeah, just in case. So try and then catch. Okay, so that'll activate it and we can write, we can write that out and say write output. We'll actually just take this and uh, cut that and paste that. Good. And then down here we can do message equals exception message. And we can say write output windows could not be activated. And then we'll just write out that message. All right, so that should take care of it for us. Let's go ahead and get that in Intune. So we're going to go to devices, scroll down to manage devices, scripts and remediation.
So to do this, you create, you say activate Windows Enterprise. Next, say detection script. We're gonna go to our desktop. We have our activate remediation, detect and remediate. All right, and run in 64 bit. And you'll just assign that to your devices. And then like you can see, right? This was our problem device when we ran this on a test device. This was the one that got remediated. So that should take care of that for you in the interim while things are still being solved. Now, of course, there's also a, a policy in Intune CSP where you could just put in your Mac key and it'll activate that way. Uh, sometimes I found that doesn't work for some reason. Obviously, options are good. So if that's working for you, great. If you're not having this issue, even better. But this is something that's getting brought to my attention a lot. So what I found is this is a very simple way to kind of deploy it and also not worry about who you're deploying it to, right? If it's activated, it's activated. You just move on, right? But at least this way, you're going to catch it. Let me know if you have any questions in the Discord, what your experience is, if you have another way you're doing activations, and we'll be seeing you.